Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is part four, the last part of uh, the summary of this book, The Success Principles by Jack and Field. This is the fourth and last part. In the first three lectures, we have summarized the principles of the different principles. Total 64 principles. Hain. And today we are starting from 40. Principle number 40, already we have discussed 39 principles. So in the upper, I don't discussion on them. Uh, slide form is available. I will just read out to you because the slides are very much comprehensive. So principle number 40, redefine time. The most successful people create superior results yet still maintain a balance among work, family, and recreation in their lives. There are three kinds of days. Focus days, buffer or preparation days, free days. Focus days. Spend at least 80% of their time operating in core genius, the natural area of their talent where they shine. Buffer or preparation days. These are capacity building Training or preparing days, free days. Free days are the days in which no work related activity is done. Free days recharge you and make you more creative. No work related activity help you understand what is important and what is not. Don't hesitate in taking some days off from your work every month. Now, there is an exercise for you. List your three best focus days in, in life ever. Three best free days in life ever. Now, you should schedule your free and focus days. Start now to control your time and your life. Principle number 41. Build a powerful sport team and delegate to them. Focus on your core genius and delegate other matters to your team members. The core genius are the area of work in which you take player while doing that thing. Once you have chosen your team members, trust them. 42, principle number 42. Just say no. You don't have to let yourself be terrorized by other people's expectations of you. Neither you can please everyone nor you should forgive and bring yourself back to the present. Don't let your top priorities go unaddressed. Eliminate all bad habits from your life. Make a stop doing list or a list called policies. If saying no works in your life, then why it is hard to say? It is not against you, it is for me. Principle number 43. Say no to the good else so that you can say to the great. 80% of your output comes from 20% of your input, 80-20 rule, stop measuring in the minors. Your goal should be to focus on the 20% of activity that is producing 80% of results. Start by listing your opportunities, one side of the page for good and the other side for the great. Talk to those who have traveled the road before. Test the waters first. And finally, look at where you spend your time. Principle number 44, apprentice to a master. Take advice from the person who has achieved that goal which you have set. Determine in advance what you want from a mentor. Shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you will land among the stars. Take action on your mentor's advice. Don't hesitate in asking someone to be your mentor. Principle number 45, hire a personal coach. Principle number 46, mastermind your way to success. Two heads are better than one. Don't resist change. Have a mastermind group from different areas of life. This mastermind group should meet in person or on phone after regular intervals with the stated purpose to achieve individual goals, collective goals, well-being of society. Have a mastermind group of persons of higher ability and achievement than you. Size of the group must be from four to six persons. Principle number 47, inquire within. Inquire within. 
there is an unconscious database in your mind that is 10 times around 10 times of your uh, conscious data so that is a great knowledge base which is called unconscious database this database is the source of your natural genius wisdom talent is buried in you you have to search within trust your intuition everyone has intuition it is just a matter of developing it all the resources we need are in our in our mind the answers lie within make time to listen you your must uh, your most valuable and intuitive wisdom often comes when you are relaxed and open to open to receiving it ask questions from yourself write down your answers your intuition works better than when you trust it listen to your intuition and take action principle number 48 listen carefully argue less and listen more be interested rather than interesting Some basic questions. What are your goals, dangers, opportunities, skills, and resources required? Talk regarding these questions. Principle number 49. Have a hard talk. Principle number 50. Tell the truth faster. The truth will set you free. The truth also frees up your our energy. It takes energy to withhold the truth. Telling the truth pays dividends. There is no perfect time to tell the hard truth. Speak your mind. I don't want yes men around me. I want everybody to tell me the truth even if it costs them their jobs. Principle number 51. Speak with impeccability. Be the master of your words. Speak the words only which are true, which uplift other people's work. How I speak to you and about you determines the quality of our relationship. Stop lying. Why we tell a lie? Because we falsely believe that we can't handle the consequences of people knowing the truth about you. Don't speak ill of, us, Ill of any other to any, anyone else. This is very important. Don't speak ill of any another person to anyone else. So don't speak ill of anyone. Don't gossip. Don't judge others. Make an effort to appreciate something about every person you interact with. Make it the interaction of every interaction with others that you uplift them in some small way. Rely on your own observation. If you treat people with respect and signal them through your speech and actions that you have high expectations, they will try to live up to that positive expectation. Don't participate in gossip. Principle number 52. When in doubt, check it out. Don't guess. People always imagine the worst when they don't know what is true. Situation becomes more aggravated when they base their decision on fearful assumptions. Don't assume good or bad, just check the facts. Principle number 53. Practice uncommon appreciation. There is more hunger for love and appreciation in this world than for bread. People work better and put forth greater effort under a spirit of approval than under a spirit of criticism. Master the art of appreciation. Appreciation is the number one motivator. Three kinds of appreciation are auditory, visual and kinesthetic. Different kinds of people accept different kinds of appreciation. It is better to use all kinds of appreciations. Keep on appreciating. Take time to appreciate yourself. Principle number 54. Keep your agreements. There is a high cost of not keeping your agreements. One loses trust if one doesn't keep our agreements. Keep the agreements you make with yourself. Make only those agreements you intend to keep. Write down the agreements you make. Communicate any broken agreement at the first appropriate time. Principle number 55. Be a class act. Live by your own highest standards. Maintain dignity and grace under pressure. Be a role model. Set attractive examples and motivate others. Respond with courtesy, 
respect, appreciation, gratitude, and generosity. Increase the confidence and capabilities of others. Do fewer things, but make them better. Do them in a better way. Keep the quality of your work high. Dress well, eat well, and conduct yourself at all times with refinement and style. Treat everyone around you with love, dignity, and respect. When you establish a higher level of personal standards, not only do you get better treatment from others, but also you suddenly begin attracting others with the, with the same elevated standards. Principle number 56. Richness and success are the result of following rules of the game. Develop a positive money consciousness. Financial success starts in the mind. Decide what you want. Believe it is possible. Believe you deserve it. Focus on it by thinking about it. Visualize as if you have achieved. Be willing to pay the price. Take action. Identify your limiting beliefs about money. You must understand that the present state of your bank account, your health, social life, your position is the physical manifestation of your previous thinking. Improve your results in the physical world by changing your thoughts. First, four steps. Write down your limiting belief. Challenge, argue with it. Make fun of it. Create a positive turnaround statement. Repeat it. Repeat this turnaround statement. Visualize what you have want, uh, what you want as if you already have it. Principle number 57. You get what you focus on. Burning desire plus definite definiteness of purpose is equal to success. Make a conscious decision to be wealthy. Fix your financial targets and time limits. Find out what it costs to finance your dream life. The life you are currently living is the result of thoughts and actions you took in the past. The life you live in the future will be the result of today's thoughts and actions. Circulate, calculate your net worth. Have your financial plan and goals. Become aware of what you are spending. Cut back on your unnecessary spendings. Be financially literate. There are four kinds of assets. Financial assets, human assets, intellectual assets, and civic assets. Financial assets are the cash and possessions. Human assets, family, health, happiness, ethics, values, character, principles, habits, relationship. Intellectual assets are, assets are wisdom, education, capacity building, skills, exposure, experiences, ideas, relationships, especially the intellect with the intellectual people. Civic assets, contribution to society from the first three kinds of assets. Human assets and, and intellectual assets are supreme because they build the other two. Principle number 58. Pay yourself first. Put aside 10% of your earnings and make that money inaccessible for expenses. When the savings reach a reasonable level, they should be invested. Richness is mathematics. There are no shortcuts. Don't spend your savings on your expenses. Follow 50-50 law if you want a speedy progress. Expenses should not be more than 50% of your income and savings should not be less than 50% of your income. Richness is the result of planning, self-discipline and effort. Build assets rather than, rather than liabilities. Fulfill your expenses from 50% of your profit, not from the capital. Remaining 50% of the profit is to be treated as part of capital. Principle number 59, master the spending game. Spend less. Pay cash instead of using credit card. Functional utility test. Purchase the thing which you, have, which you really need. Find ways to reduce the cost of your rich lifestyle. Don't borrow. Clear your debts. Principle number 60. To spend more, first make more. It is not possible to live a successful life unless one is rich. You have two options. Spend less, make more, and then spend more. Option number two is better. Think on money-making ideas. 
follow three rules of money making. There are no shortcuts. There may be smarter ways. Use fair means. Your business contribute positively to the society. Like you should not be doing something that is harmful for, for, for the society and illegal in the eye of law. You should not be doing that thing. Discover a need, demand, and make your business out of it. Get better at it. Uh, get better at what you do through capacity building, courses, and education. Enhance your skills. Create multiple sources of income. Side businesses should consume little time, money, and efforts of yours. Principle number 61. Give more to get more. Everything you give away comes back multiplied many times over. Money is like manure. If you spread it around, it does a lot of good, but if you spiral it up in one place, it stinks like hell. Engage others in your success by making a team. Principle number 62. Find a way to serve. Like Link your own profits with the services of community. The people who volunteer live longer, have stronger immune systems, have fever, heart attacks, recover from heart attacks faster, have higher self-esteem, and have a deeper sense of meaning and purpose. Volunteering is a powerful way of networking and often leads to businesses and career opportunities. Volunteering helps in developing success skills. Don't give people a fish to eat. Teach them how to catch a fish. Principle number 63. Think and then apply your wisdom and thoughts. Start now. Just do it. Get started. Jump off the cliff and build wings on the way down. You will never be perfectly ready. 80% of your training is on the job training. Take some time to master each of the 64 principles and then switch to next principle. There is no shortcut. This may take years to master all the principles, but you will start feeling a healthy change and improvement from the very first day. You are not required to be in a hurry. Develop slowly and gradually pace will take care of itself. Just get into the game and learn things. You can't plan, predict sequence of events. You have to start and avail opportunities as things unfold. Keep moving forward. All kinds of foreseen opportunities will grow out of that forward motion. You have all of the talent and resources to start now and create anything you want. It's a lot of fun to do the things of your dream. So remember to enjoy the journey. It may be hard to begin, but once you start, things start becoming easier and more interesting. Principle number 64. Empower yourself by empowering others. If your actions and words inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, then you are an excellent leader. Share these ideas. Be a role model for others and motivate others. The great contribution you can make to the world is self-realization, self-awareness, and the power to manifest your own heartfelt dreams and desires. The greatest contribution you can make to the world is to help others do the same. If you would thoroughly know anything, teach it to others. It's one of the most powerful ways to learn anything is to teach it to others. Teach these principles to others. It would make you recommit to these principles more. When you lift up others, they will lift you up. If you think you are too small to have an impact, try going to bed with a mosquito in the room. This is the end. And this famous book we have summarized just now. I hope these these 64 principles of success would change and influence your life positively. Take care. Allah Hafiz.